First step, grab yourself a thumb drive. Going for the Prusa Mini. If you're using the Mark III S, you'll need an SD card instead of a thumb drive. First thing, what printer are you using? Second thing, what filament are we using? Let's go look at the printers. Got some PLA loaded, so we're gonna use that. What slicing settings do we want? Now you can use Prusa's original settings or our presets that are generally a bit faster, but still fairly conservative. I really steer clear of the detail and ultra detail because they're so slow. But if you need it, got it. I'm just gonna do that guy. And then you load up whatever parts you're looking at. You can use this to add parts. Auto arrange. And these are four part manipulation. Moving it, scaling it. You can also use control Z for undo. Rotating your part. Do that just to demonstrate one of those often used features. Place on face. Got a selection part. So I can place that face down, or that face, or I can try printing it on this face. Final one we got is cut. You can cut your part in half. If you have a very misshapen part, now you can print two halves of it at the same time. Yeah, those guys are doing great. And the undo works through that. Oops. So that looks good. Most important thing is the preview function. Preview. This is what the printer is going to do. Add their little skirt. You can look through your layer lines. Looks like a good solid print. Always check the first layer. Looks like there's a first layer. Sounds good. Right to the SD card. There's your file name. Save and eject the SD card. Ooh, permission denied on that. We'll get that working out. Eject it there instead. Turn the printer on. filament ready see we're heating to 170 the nozzle and 60 for the bed and you're good make sure the bed is clear I'll let that guy go I'm gonna switch the video over to a tripod here's my tripod and you guys can actually watch the first print start without me you know babysitting it heating. I think that'll work all right. Excellent. Oh, 